pick up so they're pretty lousy and this month mm. is really good um yeah i think the only one i picked up this month was the ps4 was uh second son which was absolute pants and crap yeah i played second son um for a brief while around the friends and I saw Richard picked it up. I highlighted. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's the same. The, the PS4 has gone. Yeah, now it didn't last. It's on yeah. live support, and uh, when something good comes out, maybe. Well, um, I, I looked through, and just, just nothing. We've got the same stickers. Look, we have the same stickers. Yeah, it's twins. Yeah. Twin so did you get around to playing it? I played half of it. Um, I'm not an RPGer. But yeah, South Park. I've never around to yes. playing it. It's, uh, it, it looks exactly like it does on the TV. I know you've got more this month, but because. Filming is a lot later than normal. <laughs> my, my my pickups for next yeah. month is going to be like that because yeah, I picked up this certain is unusual. things. Unusual. And the boot fairs have started, so we can go out and pick it's up. Been quite a barren time, April. Mm. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, but but the next month is going to be really good. But this is okay. Um, I got quite bored of it really, quite easily. I do games like this. I can't remember what I was playing when you messaged me and I saw you playing it, and I think mm, I might play it. It was okay. I mean. As far as it goes, it gets a bit repetitive. But what did you talk about did you get on the PS4 and you... Cause oh, uh, you got quite a few. Because before it went, you had quite a few on there, didn't you? Yeah, Resogun. 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 Yeah. That was really good. Was that, actually, that was the only reason that anybody should pick up a PS4 now. Mm. It's about because I really enjoyed it. Um, and to be pissed off at the last level of Killzone. Killzone, I, I didn't even bother with. Mm. It was so... No, not didn't that mm. kind of thing. It looks amazing, but it plays absolutely shit. Imagine you take the worst Call of Duty game ever, and then you add something onto it that makes it crap. Actually, no, I'm just described ghosts. Hold on, mate. <laughs> yeah, that was the worst fucking game ever. Yeah. So it's like Call of Duty Ghosts, but with different visuals. It's been reskinned for the Kill Zone. Now I love Kill Zone. I love Kill Zone two, three. This one, yeah, no, it looked good, but. It was meh. I mean, it was a lovely shiny thing to show off the system, but I got away for a bit. It was meh. I got to the bit where you kind of walking around a space station. It reminded me of Dead Space, and was like, Still Dead Space is better than this space shit. Station. Yeah, Dead Space. That's, awesome. that's why I I stopped playing it. Um, Escape oh. Plan or something like it was called. Oh, Escape Plan. No, not Escape Plan, but yeah, that one. I'll look at it, look at his profile yes. and find that later. <laughs> yeah. right. And then he'll come up Escape Plan and could be like, oh fuck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. he was right. <laughs> yeah. So pick up the original. It's quite shit. Be prepared for extended edition. But I, I, I'm really fucking pissed about something this month. Really fucking pissed. Oh yes, let's leave him talk. Yes, the price of online digital games. Fucking sort it out. Couldn't agree more. Launch titles. There's no distribution. You haven't got my fucking cases. You haven't no. got to send them to the shop. You've got no VAT to pay. For God's sake, why are they £10 more to buy? They do have to pay VAT. Yeah, they pay VAT. Yeah, but if you think about it, if you buy... I, I think at the moment, okay, Wolfenstein's just been released. Okay, so we're, we're really behind about things. Mm. Wolfenstein <laughs> on Xbox One to buy some digital download. Bear in mind, you've got no resale value on that at all. That works in at nearly 60 quid. Mm. Okay. I think if we go to game today, we're going to pick it up for about the, fifty. The bog standard version is supposed to be it's supposed to be forty, but yeah. game will do forty-five. You know yeah. what I mean? Like. Now, bear in mind, game have to pay staff, shipping costs, overheads for their shop. Okay, all Xbox have to do is distribute it, and mm. we pay for that on our Xbox Live membership. So yeah. fucking sort it out. The, I think what started that was that they put Halo Reach or ODST on the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. And they put it astronaut at 60 quid and it sold a million copies in a couple of days I mean, that sort of profit generated there from a game it wasn't new it was months old mm. it was it's just that yeah. they're sort of going hmm that's another building we can buy <laughs> another um, building we can build the other issue i have is they've got a lot of indie games coming out that are distributed yeah. by digital means mm. i don't want them to rake in at 30 pounds a game they're no. an unknown source mm. Okay, so they you can. Be cheap, but the starting price tends to be twelve to seventeen. I've noticed. Yeah, now it is. Yeah, the, but the, since they got rid of arcade for Xbox One, yeah, it's generally between twelve pounds is yeah. the starting rate now. But yeah. now that now the developers can come in now and set their own mm. prices, yeah. mm. because it's an unknown quantity, you don't know if that's going to be any good, and it's a digital download. So if you buy it, you're stuck yeah. with it. Which, you like which in a way, that there's a there's a semi plus side, but which is downside with digital stuff. I mean, they've just announced that last Xbox One's coming 
We're getting gold games for golds on the Xbox One. Yeah. But the yeah. difference is, on the Xbox One version, you have to have a gold It's not PlayStation Plus. It's very PlayStation. It's on PlayStation. the 360, you'll keep them forever. But on the Xbox One, as soon as your gold membership runs out, they're gone. However, but basically with the PlayStation Plus, if you see it on offer for a pound, fucking buy it a pound, because then when your gold runs out, you can still play it, because you've paid physical money for it. But digital prices are astronomical. They need so they need to be thirty pounds. Yeah, thirty pounds. I probably will. Well, <laughs> wouldn't be able to put my shelf. So I wouldn't get. It. But thirty pounds, I think, is a reasonable price, and it's. And if they want to make everything digital eventually, mm. which they're heading towards, they're going to yeah. have to reduce them. They're going to have yeah. to get the prices where people go. Yes, I'd rather pay well, it to download it. Than look at this. Amazon. Amazon are doing this stupid rental thing when the game machine comes out. No, you pay so much and you rent a game for a week. And it's all done by stream as well, isn't it? There's no. You've got to have a yeah. really good yeah. <laughs> internet connection. Middle for of London. <laughs> <laughs> the, the other thing is, like you know, um, Steam works. Steam you know, does, distribution yeah. works for Steam. Mm. Digital downloads, and they have sales. But the reason it works is because there's competition. Yes, yeah. exactly. That's the reason it works because Microsoft can charge whatever the flying monkey mm. fuck they want. And yeah, we yeah, end yeah. Up buying they do. Yeah. yeah. So. But there is competition for Microsoft at the moment because you can go out and buy a physical copy of it. Well, no, because yeah, you're still making money from it. Yes, but you can, it's, yeah. still, it's still them that's making money from it. What, what's winning um, the race for digital stuff as well is they're, they're doing preload now, isn't they? You yeah. can buy the game and it's loaded on the machine. And at midnight, it yeah, unlocks. Yeah, unlocks you play it. Whereas if, you know, if you're not doing a midnight, if you go to a midnight open, you still got to get home and install it, blah, blah, blah. A lot of it's down to pure sheer convenience and laziness. Yeah. I can't see it changing. Um, Xbox 360 pricing was really sensible for the first six or seven years. It was brilliant. But then it started going up and it started, they changed to real money. And the average Xbox Live game, once again, is 17. Yeah. The so Xbox yeah. Live pricing, the actual, the actual live arcade pricing, yeah. is always reasonable. Yeah, it's it started to sneak up and sneak mm. up, but um, it was always reasonable. And but, you were yeah. mentioning about, like, you know, it's an unknown quantity and stuff. They've gone backwards. With Arcade, there was always a trial. Exactly. Yeah. Always yeah. a trial with Arcade. Yeah. And they've gone back on We've that. got Connect Sports trial. That's the only demo on Xbox. Isn't uh, it? No, there's, there's Lego, no, there's Lego Movie. Oh, there's loads, there? mate. Yeah. I don't know. There's not a huge amount, no. but about six. There's yeah, about I think six. there's Lego Movie trailer. <laughs> uh, uh, demo, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Lego Hobbit, Lego uh, Marvel. All the crap shit. Um, the Zoo Tycoon. Mm. Yeah. And cover others. Yeah. Zumba Fitness. I believe there was a Dead Rising 3. Demo. Yeah, the one's yeah. Dead Rising 3, but I think that's gone. I'm not yeah. sure. Well, that was a gone. huge download, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, the demo. I've got it. I've got it. I've never played it. I've got it. I've never I'll never forget it. that 6 gigabyte update for Dead Rising. What? <laughs> yeah. That's the only other thing. That's the only thing. That one is like 6 or 7 gig. Yeah. It's huge. That's the, yeah. I know the. the it's just a part and parcel of having like the new shiny stuff is mm. but the updates are huge i've updated um gone back to playstation isn't it it's yeah. the playstation stuff. halo spartan yeah. assault i thought i'd just jump on it the other day yeah. just to play yeah. it and i was like oh there's an update mm. four gigs mm. god i'm gonna be here all night waiting for this to download well, that is to do with the fact that they don't compress them anymore on, on dvd they compress everything yeah and they've got to the, the tools they use where they compress it may even updates tiny instead of them having to Put the resources into compressing a 200 megabyte file into a 30 gigabyte, 30 megabyte file, which they can do. They don't. It's like, oh, don't have the bother. That's one thing you don't have to do. It's done. Fuck it. If it's big, it doesn't matter. There you go. Download it. The good thing about the new consoles is, I don't know about the PlayStation 4, you can download them in the background. Mm. But, but the thing is, it's a massive downside compared to the PS3. I mean, you say about the PS3, mm. but the PS3 is better because you don't have no. to you accept it. it. You mm. can just say, no. I don't want to go online with it. I'll just play it as it is now. Yeah, you know, and you yeah. can do that. You do not have that option with the Xbox One. Well. No, most updates, most updates are, are, are came online for multiplayer stuff. But there's been mm. like a lot of stuff uh, in like normal play. Oh no, but uh, I, I, don't, I don't mean that. That's yeah. not what I'm. That's not what I But this, I mean, but... the one thing you can do is you can start the download and watch something else or do yeah. something else on it rather than having to sit there and look at a screen, yeah. look at a bar, move along at yeah, such a yeah, slow speed yeah, because yeah. we've got such crap internet. Yeah, so yeah, digital, price, digital prices down, please. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, and I'd, I'd be tempted to buy more online, but I want to sit here mm. to say, I thought this because it'd be empty because it's all mm. on my hard drive. Mm. Oh, and yeah, mm. I just want to have the external hard drive. Um, support, that's the next month, isn't it? They said yeah, because so. I'm running out of space now mm. for my. 
And also, for the Xbox One, mm. put some media playback on it so I can jump oh. a USB in it and play something off of it rather than yeah. not having to... It's, it's, it's like I said, I still think now that their consoles have been released six months too early. Mm. Or even a year too early. Year too early, yeah, at yeah. least. I mean, it's just like shit, it's only bringing out, let's mm. bring out the same time. I mean, I think the Xbox One is, is optimised for DX12. Mm. Someone was saying this six months ago and everyone was going on about how perfect everything was. <clears throat> I, mean, I really, my, mm. my Xbox One I love, mm. I really do, but I still jump back on the 360 every now and again. I was a the thing is I've got such an attachment with the 360 that I, I, you know, I've always sort of not really liked the going back step even though I'm into the retro. When I put the 360 on, the only thing that bugs me is how long it fucking takes to start. Yeah. I'm like, when I'm in the game, yeah. I'm fine. But the but constant the loading soon. Yeah. When you've got a choice between all the games you've got on the 360 yeah. and the handful that you've got on the... There's no That's contest. Right. Yeah. You want to play, you know... You play which one has the best games. So yeah. how do you feel about this new lot of games that are coming in then that are going to be for the next generation? When they, when it comes mm. to Christmas, it's going to be tough because there's going to be a lot of good stuff. Yeah. Yes. When it finally comes He's to Christmas. He's got two games out on the same day that's going to Yeah, be. there's going to be a lot of good stuff. Um, eventually, at long last. But like I said, it's a year. And that's normally what I wait. Yeah. I normally wait a year and then I pick the machine up because that's normally when the stuff mm. I want to come out. <laughs> I think though no, developing, you know, for this generation's consoles are hampering next generation console mm. development. It always does. It. Yeah, it's it, stopping there. You see, look yeah. at the release launch for three sixty. There's about six games now. Whereas if two, I don't know. There's a lot more than that, mate. Yeah. I think I, mean, I, I was surprised to find Alien Isolation is actually going to be released on the 360. Yeah, there's so many games. I mean, even Dragon Age, I believe, is coming out on the 360. Yeah. There's so many that I didn't think would come out on the 360 mm. coming out on the 360. So, so I think so the there's, developers have got so... With a 60 million audience that they can't ignore. Yeah. A lot of people, but this, yeah. this is the second same problem that the 360 had with the PS2 mm. and the uh, yeah, PS2, basically. <laughs> uh, PS2 and the Wii, I'd say. PS2 yeah. and the Wii were basically grounding the 360 from actually mm. properly kind of, you know, yeah. um, developing. Eventually, they would do a separate version for the PS2 and the 360, so PS2 mm. and the Wii, and the 360 version would be a different version. But at first, it really did kind of bug it down. So if you have a studio, I mean, this is what they've done with Titanfall, you have two studios developing two versions of the game. Yeah. You have the Xbox One version and obviously the 360 version developed by a separate studio. Now, I'm it's surprised awesome. they squeezed yeah. that. It's mm. awesome. They did, yeah. Yeah. they did a very good job of that. Yeah. very good job We was always back, we was all waiting to go, ah, but yeah. we were actually going, what worried oh, me is they didn't release any footage of it before yeah. they released yeah. it. Yeah. Or any... But we got a footage like two or three days yeah, in that just big 40 before. minute video or yeah. something like yeah. that. It's, it's, still, it's still got some nasty pop-up and textures mm. loading yeah. in and stuff like that. But the one thing that gameplay bugs, wise, yeah, it works. Yeah. You know? The one thing that still bugs me, or even on the Xbox One version of Titanfall, is the screen tear. Yeah, yeah, really hate that. The yeah. first game I ever noticed them was Assassin's Creed when you're standing on top of the first time and you turn around and the screen tears. Yeah, yeah. So there's a little bit of a ranty, yeah, very pickups. So, I can sort it yeah. out. Okay, if you like what you see, please uh, leave a comment below. Uh, push that like button and, and subscribe to the channel. I'd like to have more subscribers, please. That'd be really cool.